and joining us now on This Is The Day is Sister Leah LaHood, a Maronite sister and is an advocate for the elderly, a gerontologist and a chaplain and also a beekeeper. And she joins us today via Skype from Lebanon to talk about her book on bees. And thank you so much for being with us, sister. Thanks for having me, my pleasure. Now, last time we spoke, you mentioned how your religious community life is kind of similar to bees in a hive. Can you talk about that again for our viewers and, and what it is that makes your life kind of similar to the life of the bees? Yes, sure. Actually, uh, as a nun and a beekeeper, I feel there is lots of similarities between bees and nuns. Uh, so last time I told you about uh, the three vows that we pronounce as nuns, chastity, poverty, and obedience. And I feel that the bees live these vows also because a, bee, a worker bee never get married. Uh, they obey their queen and they do, each bee has her own task to do. And they have uh, their, uh, their selfless sacrifice for the hive. They do everything for the hive. But also there are many other similarities that we didn't talk about last time, but uh, we can talk now. So sure. there is a huge decline in the number of non-vocations these days. And uh, this phenomenon is also similar in the bee life because uh, there is the CCD, which is a colony collapse disorder. So bees are disappearing for unknown reasons. And, uh, and also uh, as nuns, we return to the same monastery we entered and the bee return to the same hive, even if let's say I have 100 hives very close to each other, each bee returned to the same hive she belongs to. Uh, also, either uh, bees and nuns are uh, kind of uh, overly obsessed with cleanliness. So I don't know why they like to clean a lot. So I'm not, I'm not like them, but uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> bees are so obsessed with cleanliness. They clean everything. If there is a small insect, the dead in the hive, they just pick it up and uh, and try to drag it and throw it away. And if if this uh, intruder is bigger, they try to to cover it and seal it with propolis or something like this, just to make everything very clean. Yeah, I, I just heard recently too uh, about the, in England they have the no mow May where they they don't uh, allow. Uh, they're trying to get people not to mow their lawns to help with the pollination as well. Um, mm -hmm there too so it's interesting uh, about that and and for people that don't know may the 20th is the bee world day and uh, why do you think there should be a day for bees actually bees deserve more than one day because they are just amazing tiny lovely creatures uh, they are very important to our ecosystem and we should just con consider taking care of bees uh, maybe planting more flowers stopping pesticides the pesticides that are harmful for bees. Uh, it's just a day just to remember that bees are so important to our ecosystem and to, to take action and just to protect our bees and to save their lives. Talk about, uh, if you could, Sister, uh, your love for bees. Uh, maybe how, how did that begin? Uh, where did it come from? Actually, I was just watching a movie and I just... Uh, I just fell in love with bees. This is the first day I began bee beekeeping. I, I just, you know, I love bees because they are amazing, amazing creatures. Uh, you cannot be a beekeeper and not love your bees. <laughs> I'm talking about it will not help you. You just have to get some hives and try it yourself and <laughs> you love them. <laughs> and, and talk about the beekeeping if you could too. Um, how, how many hives do you have? And uh, maybe, uh, you know, what kind of, um, work that it takes to, to keep them all going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have around 50-ish hives. Wow. Uh, they were 50, but because now we are in spring, so they are swarming and I have a little bit more. So uh, what was your question again? Uh, just uh, in terms of keeping the, the hives together, uh, the, the work that it takes to, to be, be a beekeeper and, and keep the hives going. Yeah, actually, the first the first thing to do is to, to love your bees. And when you love them, they do the work. You just have to check on them to protect them from uh, from parasites like the varroa mite, which uh, if you if you don't protect them, it will kill them. So you just have to check on them to, to keep your eye on them and they will do the work. You're, you know, sometimes we brag about ourselves and say, oh, I, ha I got like a ton of uh, of honey, but it's yeah. not us beekeepers. It's the bees who who has been working endlessly to to, to get this job done, to, to get this honey made. 
but we beekeepers are you know always like oh i have lots of honey <laughs> it's not you it's the bees I love the background yeah. uh, that that you have there too. Um, and before I, I let you go, do t tell us a little bit about the your book about bees and why why you decided to write it. Yeah, so my book is uh, you know these days kids are hooked to their screens. They just like they don't know a lot about nature. They don't know a lot about bees, and I just wanted to to tell them my story with bees because bees are so beneficial to us even the sting of the bee is so important you know i'm i mean the sting of the bee is good for arthritis and it has anti-inflammatory effects and stuff like this like even the sting which is like the worst thing is is very good so i wanted to you know the sting of people is not like this it's it hurts it, it's painful <laughs> and it has no benefits but the thing of the bee has. So I just uh, meant to say that bees, everything in bees is so good. They teach us many virtues. They teach us how to be, uh, I mean, how to do sacrifice, how to be energetic, how to work hard, how to communicate well, how to be positive, because according to all law of aviation, a bee is, it's impossible for a bee to fly because her body is fat and her wings are too tiny. But a bee never listened to what a human think is impossible, <laughs> it flies. Anyways, but you know, bees are, they teach, they taught me many lessons and I wanted to tell all kids that they should learn from the bee, the good virtues. Yeah, it's amazing. Well, thank you so much, sister. Uh, and I hope people will appreciate bees a little bit more. I know I have just by talking to you too. Uh, and, it's you. and it's amazing what they can do and what they do do. So thank you once again, sister, uh, for, for checking in with us. It's a pleasure to talk about bees. Thank you. <laughs>